Yeah. <laughs> We've got four or five days till I think the last competition. So welcome back, everybody. I swear there was something else I was trying to do. Oh, I want to... And potionomics. Uh, if I'm being honest, I'm kind of going to skip through potion making for now. And we'll focus on making, building relationships. Because... I don't need the money. At least not right now. But then they hit me with these really good events. Increased value for tonics and enhancers and decreased for basic potions. The crater has increased loot drops and ingredients will cost less. Okay, crater. Magical Wasteland has weaker monsters and decreased loot drops. Magical Wasteland ingredients will cost more. Alright. So the crater it is. Dun, dun, dun. I love all of these fancy things. Oh yeah, I forgot we got a couple new customization options. Shions. It's not the customization part. Ooh, purple. Ooh, ah. Damn, that is wild. You know, I want to do it just because it's all magical wasteland. But I just can't. <laughs> What is this? Brick falls walls. Oh, I must match this. Oh, shoot! Okay. I like that. Green? Oh, absolutely not. I don't hate this wall. Hmm. Dun, 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 dun. Mm hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, we'll do that for now. That's all set. Customize orders. I'm not really. Is that a dog? Oh my gosh. I'm not really thinking of doing those. But let's see if my past self thought about doing them. It already has them. All empty. I wonder if that means I've got some potions somewhere that are just missing something. Oh, no, I wasn't able to get the chance star. So it ended up being too low quality. Dun, 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 dun. really snacking. It's lunchtime for the doggo. Um, we got that and we got that. We got the potions that we need for the competition in four days. I think I'm just gonna go straight over to travel. my relationship with Corsac because I don't really like the cards that he has. I could see how they'd be really interesting for someone that um, likes like multiple moving parts, but I'm not really interested in that. So, but I will still gift him just in case. 
I imagine I won't have enough time to max out everybody, but doesn't hurt to try. I wouldn't be upset if I maxed out with Mint because I enjoy their story as well as um, might be cool to see if she's got like a cool shielding card. We shall see. But definitely Saffron next. Here are the spoils. I wish there was a way to pick where. Where they go. <coughs> My lord. Oh. Hmm. I don't know if everyone, if like the patient stuff is spread out, but he did give us a good patient card. And maybe he would give us another. I humbly accept. And I do like the versatility of the cats. Oh, nice. Oh, that's new. I also, I mean, I'm sounding like I want to level up everyone because I can't decide. <laughs> Roxanne's cards have been cool as well. Not that interested in Luna's cards so far. Mm. Fruit. Oh, I'm so super cute. Da -da -da -da. Hi, baby. Increases more if you give them a higher quality or more expensive version of the one um, of the gift they love. But that'd be cool. Dang. That's crazy. Wow! Oh, my cute puppy! My cute puppy boy! How about that? I did a thing. Also, I th I am hoping that I can just rank up and not have to hang out with people. I imagine I will have to if I want to just level one person, but I'm hoping that I can just go around to different- Hey! Stop eating the crumbs off the desk. <laughs> you eat one cookie. <laughs> I was hoping you oh. could read that last one. I've been feeling less burdened since our la a recent talk. I had been so determined to leave the past in the past, but it feels better to have everything out in the open. It's really helped with my productivity too. Just this morning, I converted an old ladder into a wine rack, which was necessary because yesterday I decided my old wine rack would make a fine bird feeder. Hi, handsome boy. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Oh, careful. 
Now I just have to figure out how to get the bird feeder up into that tree. I suppose I'll have to make a new ladder. <laughs> or I could fly up for you. There you go again, solving my problems. That's what friends are for. I like making you smile. It brightens my day every time. I save all my best smiles for you and my best haggling tips. Let me teach you some breathing exercises that will keep you calm through even the most difficult negotiation. Okay, regulated breathing. Reduces stress by one at start of each turn. Lasts until the end of the current haggling se session. And stacks. I love that. And exhale. Oh, got it. I do well to remember my own advice. I think my palm is sweating. The fleshy one, I mean. <laughs> is everything all right? Yes, I wanted to discuss some things to begin with. Sylvia, you are extraordinary and I cherish you. A friendship like ours comes along so rarely. So I felt it was necessary to say something to to let you know how I feel. And part of what I'm feeling is scared. You're scared? I don't understand. It's difficult to explain, but I'll try. I had friends once, friends so close they were like family. I lost every one of them in a single moment. I blinked and they were gone forever with, from this life. I've lived in the woods alone ever since, in part because I like the solitude, but in a deeper sense, because I needed the solitude. You understand? Hide away, hiding away isn't the answer. I'll give you space if that's what you want. That's no way to live, Saffron. I know it isn't. But knowing a thing is... Oh, it's not the one they wanted. <laughs> knowing a thing is true doesn't always make it easy. Here's the thing about being scared, though. It gives you the opportunity to be brave. So thanks for that. Thanks for being my friend, rather than leaving me to my solitude. And also, thanks for being a little flirtatious with me. Me? I am, I'm sworn to Quinn. You don't mind? Not at all. I know you're taken. And even if you weren't, I'm not looking for entanglements. Okay, good. But after so long, it's fun to exercise those muscles again. I don't want to hide from the world, Sylvia. And I don't want to avoid feeling things. So let's make the most out of our, of our time. Let's live each day like it might be our last. And when our time is up, we'll know we spent it the best way we could. Inky, what are you doing over there? <laughs> Together as true friends. Hee <laughs> Okay, can't rank up with her anymore. Sad. It's a baby! I love you, I love you, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ranking up with mint. Okay. Feels good to get out of that rowdy guild hall. And since we're in the neighborhood, there's an exhibit on local history that I'm dying to see. How do you feel about a quick museum visit? I'm up for it. I might be distracted by your loveliness, but I'll try to focus on the exhibit. Gosh, it's nice to get a compliment. Most days, the cl closest I get is when a monster shows an especially keen interest in devouring me. <laughs> As they cut through a crowd, on their way to the museum, Mint seems to go out of her way to brush her arm against Sylvia's. That appears to be the extent of the hero's boldness. Once you, they've reached their destination, she swiftly turns her attention to the exhibits. The museum is sparsely attended, which gives Sylvia a clear view of the displays. There are old maps, outdated brooms, and a small battered helm once worn by Robin himself. While Sylvia examines antique potion making equipment, Mint ponders a pile of dust and metal shards. No legendary weapons here. Everything that the heroes took into battle with Maven was destroyed. But there's one artifact from that battle I never get tired of looking at. It's not far from here. The 
This is more like it. The great outdoors and a big monster corpse. <laughs> what could be better? That Kraken skull is a cornerstone of this island's history. I assume you know the story. I know the story backwards and forward. Yeah, but I'd love to hear your version. What's a Kraken? After all, you're the hero's history buff. You don't have to ask me twice. It all started with Maven, the so-called witch queen. She claimed this island as her own, used it as a sort of free-range laboratory for all sorts of wicked experiments. The first settlers of this very town were her unwilling accomplices. She used her mind control powers to prevent them from leaving. Under her sway, they did all sorts of labor for her. They even constructed this big monument to Maven in the bay. Her reign of terror went on for years before a brave band of heroes decided that enough was enough. They sailed here to liberate the island. Maven summoned a kraken from the depths, intending to stop them from ever setting foot here. She didn't care who got flattened in the process. The heroes eventually got the best of the monster, but not before it had knocked their ship right out of the water. And to think, I'm now living inside that very ship. I'm pretty sure my cot is set up right where Lore Master Lauren used to store his books. I feel so honored by that, and so inspired. And well, sometimes I feel like an imposter, like a kid who's playing dress up. You should be kinder to yourself. I know I should. That's why we're here. I just need to connect to this place. I need to feel the history and place and my place in it. Mint closes her eyes and breathes the salty air. Sylvia follows her example. Eyes shut, Sylvia always on her feet a little. Nope. Sylvia sways on her feet a little. Her hand accidentally brushes against Mint's. Sylvia swiftly pulls her hand back, embarrassed, but Mint smiles. Sylvia notices she didn't pull away. Feeling better already? I'm feeling inspired. I'm glad we came here, and I'm glad they left that skull right where it fell. It's a tangible piece of our history, and a reminder of why we need heroes. Heroes like you. I'm not there yet, but I won't give up on my goals. I'm keeping my eye on the prize. Apply stalwart. Prevents the next debuff from taking effect on Sylvia. Oh? And a zero cost? Shoot! If you have three or fewer cards in your hand. Ugh, okay. I'm feeling inspired to do the same. Then we'd better get back to our respective quests. After all, you and I both have great feats to accomplish. True. <gasps> My baby. Rank up again. Okay, I'm all yours. I'm glad you had some time to hang out today. I've had something on my mind, and it's important we talk about it away from the guild hall. The walls have ears, only some of which are stuffed and mounted. Is this a date? Is this a top secret mission briefing? Is that what this is? Sylvia, I promise, when it's a date you'll know, and I'll, it'll be someplace a little nicer than this. I just figured we could talk, and I'm weirdly nervous about it. I'm probably overthinking it, though. Sometimes the best strategy is to have no strategy at all. And I do my best work when I keep it simple. Keep it simple. Raise interest by nine. Discard two random cards. If opener, discard only one. I don't know if I like that. I mean, it would be nice if I had stress cards and got that. Yeah, life is complicated enough. And you should and you should know you don't need to you don't need to be nervous around me. In that case, here's the thing. I'm just going to come right out and say it. Sylvia, I feel like you've been flirting with me. And for a while I was kind of into it. I mean, I like you a lot. But I'm trying to focus on my work for the guild, and you well, I know that you're seeing someone. You're right. Sorry. I didn't mean to string you along or make things awkward. Hey, I get it. I just wanted to address it before anyone's feelings got hurt. So it's okay with you if we're just friends? 
I mean, I've never loved the phrasing just friends. As if friendship isn't amazing. As if it's anything less than magic when two people connect. Growing up, I was the only one in my family who ever dreamed of life beyond our sleepy little port town. The only one who wanted to leave one day. In a lot of ways, nobody ever really got me. Not like you do. We're definitely kindred spirits. It's true, I saw it in your eyes the first time we met. That same drive to succeed. That same refusal to settle for, for less. It's made my own journey easier. My whole life better, just knowing that we're on parallel paths. Sylvia, you are my best friend. Ah, 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 I'm not crying. And I'm so glad we get to experience Rafta together. God, Kiki, you're such a cry baby. It's an amazing place. Let's let's hope we survive the experience. I suppose having a hero for a bestie helps my odds. Ah, uh -uh, there's nothing here to be afraid of, really. I'm confident we're going to leave our mark on this place as capable, enterprising individuals. And as a team. You're the best teammate I could ask for. No, you are. Ah, uh, uh, look at us. Couple of softies. What's up? Do what? You being cute. Can you guys even see him? Oh, you can't. I can't see you. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> okay, I'll pick you up. Keep clawing up, mister. I'm gonna think you're a kitty. Okay. Back to the game. We've got this, Sylvia. You and me. What could possibly stand in our way? Maven? Robin? That little dinosaur creepy thing? Alright, next is... Let's see if Zid has any events for us. Let's chill for a bit. I hope you're taking care of your vocal cords, Sylvia. I can't say I've given it much thought. <laughs> you should. It's another similarity between us troubadours and traders. We both use our voice a lot. And believe me, you catch more flies with honeyed tones. Throat spray. Remove a random debuff from Sylvia. Decrease stress by three. Can only be played as an opener. I don't hate it. But I also don't love it. <laughs> I'll learn to love my larynx. <laughs> Good. Maybe we should start by going someplace more quiet. The guild hall's livelier than ever. And while crowds are good for business, it'll be good to chat with without straining our vo voice boxes. I like getting you all to myself. Lead the way. I'm trying to see if not flirting does anything. There's bound to be a quiet corner somewhere. I think I know just the spot. Hmm. Come on, let's get out of here. What are you doing over there? If you step on my keyboard, it's all over for you. Now this is a view. Isn't it just... Uh, I've been coming up here to write whenever I can sneak away for a few minutes. And the song? It's going good, Sylvia. Really good. I'm probably expecting too much, but I sort of feel like it could be important, if that makes sense. Storytelling is powerful. Whoa, you okay, baby? Storytelling is powerful, and storytelling set to music, it makes people feel things, and that's some potent magic. I don't know why my um, tone is so weird. You're stressing me out. At least it is when you get it right. Speaking of which, this story needs conflict. What type should it be? Internal conflict. The best heroes are those who have to overcome their flaws. And in the end, we're all our own worst enemies, right? Sounds smart to me. I'll see what I can come up with. And, well, I hope you know how much I appreciate your willingness to be part of my process like this. It means a lot. Hey, I'm happy to help out. You really mean that? You really mean that, don't you? 
You want to know the secret to being a good songwriter? It takes more than having a sense for lyrics or rhythm. You've got to notice things. You've got to see people. I noticed you the moment I walked into your shop, and I haven't been able to stop looking since. I noticed how kind you are, how capable, and I noticed when you're starting when you started dating someone else. Damn! Despite our occasional flirtation. Sorry if I gave you the wrong idea. It's cool. For a while I thought we might be on a different track, but I wouldn't really change anything. These past few weeks, well, you inspire me, Sylvia. I had to tell you. I had to tell you so. I'm the kind of person who believes in the importance of words, and I want you to know that what an absolute thrill it is to be your friend. You took the words right out of my mouth. There's no need to tell me that. You inspire me too. Well, in that case, I look forward to seeing you perform, you perform on stage soon. Oh, that's not really what I meant. Ah, <laughs> uh, just teasing. Although now that I've said it, I can't stop picturing it. Genuine friendship is too rare a thing in this world, so we should celebrate it every chance we get. We should sing it from the rooftops. Sounds like an epic duet. So epic it'll it'll set the charts on fire. What are you what are you doing? Hey, mister, what are you doing? Okay. <laughs> What are you doing over there? Okay. <laughs> Sylvia, I was thinking about you earlier. Although not just you, to be honest, I've had a fair bit on my mind. I'm still puzzling out how best to serve the guild, how best to serve its people. I don't want to blow in your ear. Contemplation is a good look on you. I like it a bit, uh, oh wait, I like a bit of thoughtful intensity on a man. Oh, I don't know, brooding is fine in moderation, but I wouldn't like my face to get stuck that way. And sometimes a step back is the way forward. I'm sure you've already realized the value of an occasional strategic withdrawal. Permanently block the highest available level of interest. Increase patience by three. No. Yeah, I know just what you mean. Good, because I'm pressing... As pressing as the guild business feels, it can, in fact, wait. <laughs> There's something else I'd like to discuss today. If you're amy... Um, amenable. Amenable? Let's find a quiet spot. <laughs> Keep an eye out for slimes, would you? As we've learned, it's scarcely worth the effort to smite them. <laughs> but I would hate to get any sludge on our shoes. Are you looking for bigger monsters? Are we looking for bigger monsters? We're only looking for a bit of privacy. I've been trying to develop a reputation in the guild as an austere... A, yeah, austere man of action. You know, the rough and ready type who earns respect wherever he goes? Are they buying it? Let's just say it wouldn't help my case if to be overheard discussing soppy emotional topics with you. But that's what I had in mind for today. In particular, I wanted to broach our t your tendency to act flirtatiously towards me. Initially, I'd read this as interest. But as I understand it, you're promised to another, is that right? Not exactly how I'd phrase it, but yeah, I am seeing someone. I apologize if I got the wrong idea. I'm not used to such a bold and body friendship. But I don't mean to complain. I only wanted to clear the air. The time we've spent together has been illuminating. And more than that, it's been fun. I had friends back home, but I never know anyone quite like you. I've never known. You are unique in my life, too. And I think it's good for both of us. Certainly. Why live in such a strange and singular place if we're only going to adhere to old habits and comfort zones? Hey, baby. Are you uncomfortable? Let me bring up a little more blanky for ya. A little more blanky for ya. Uh, a little more... Uh, uh. 
you go. Oh, you do you. I suppose what I mean to say is that I don't take your friendship for granted. I make no apologies for who I am, but who I am is a bit of an odd fit here. You've made me feel welcome and valued, and I value you in turn, Sophia. I want I wanted to make sure you knew it. I do now. Thanks, Baptiste. Of course. Now what do you say we get out of here? I've got a bottle of wine chilling back at the guild hall. Oops, force a habit. It's not a bottle at all, it's but it's but a box of wine. <laughs> Have you ever heard of such a marvel? <laughs> I bet it's delicious. I'll admit it's curious about the flavor profile. I'm curious about it. Subtle notes of black cherry and cardboard, according to the shopkeep. But I didn't buy it for the taste. I bought it because it's by far the best, the most cost-effective effective option for getting inebriated in a hurry. And we're busy people, Sylvia. So what do you say? I say, let's drink. Let us drink indeed to friendship. What are you licking, dude? My god, stop! What am I gonna do with you? To the cats! Twas a pleasure. Oh. Time's up. Now go concentrate. Radiation tonic? Okay. And a curse cure. Sure, sure. Uh, Oswald? Masterworks, too. They're not fooling around. Not a bit. Oswald? Hello? What else need to be ready? What am I missing? Think, think, think. Oswald! What in the world are you doing? Ah, Sylvia. I thought you were still asleep. Yeah, I totally was. I was having a real nice dream, too. You were in it. Only you'd been transmogrified into a big bowl of ramen. <laughs> Your subconscious isn't exactly subtle, is it? Neither are you. <laughs> it was the sound of your talons pacing up and down the counter that woke me up. You want to talk about whatever's bothering you? It's nothing. It's... Well, I suppose I'm anxious. We're so close, Sylvia. So close to winning. So close to restoring my proper form. If you win that grand prize, I'll have arms again. Fingers. I scarcely know what to, I'll do first. How about mopping? Could be the answer. Could the answer be mopping? <laughs> you act as if I'm some freeloader. It's not my fault these wings aren't made for manual labor. But, so you know, it's been an honor, Sylvia. The sheer existential horror of being forced to live as a bird notwithstanding. Do not bite on my keyboard. Nice try, sir. I'm happy to have this chance to get to... Okay, you're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. <clears throat> but I still love you. I still love you, baby. I know I have no right to say it, but I'm so very proud. Wow, that's, that's actually really nice to hear. And to be honest, I feel the same. I mean, they told me you were dead. I thought I'd lost you before I ever got to know you. I feel really fortunate that we've had this time together. Dear niece, it warms my heart to hear it. Just to be clear, though, none of this is getting you out of bopping. Day one. I told myself I wasn't going to cry. <laughs> That's funny. ba da dee Okay, ore ingredients and mineral ingredients will cost more, and essence ingredients will cost less. The crater increased loot drops. Gardening. Dun, 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 dun. 
We're gonna try for the rare ingredient. Rank up with Baptiste again. Let's put work aside then. Can you sense it in the air? Grand things are afoot. In fact, I'd go so far as to say that tomorrow is the beginning of a bold new era for the Heroes Guild. Okay, I'll bite. What's up? Hmm, ice cream first, I think, then business. The ice cream vendors has new flavors since Sylvia was last year, thank God. While she struggles to decide between Bedazzler Honeycomb or Brambleberry, Baptiste simply asks for a scoop of the day's special. I always order the newest flavor. In fact, I think I've become, I've become something of a guinea pig for the ice cream maker. <laughs> I'm certain I was the only one in town who ordered the Stingray surprise. That's brave of you. More brave than you realize. My mother might disown me if she knew. She's the heiress to the world's largest vanilla dynasty. In my family, chocolate is forbidden. Strawberry is sacrilege. I'll admit, not every flavor is a winner, but I've had enough vanilla for my lifetime. But enough about ice cream. I lured you here with a promise of news. I believe I've finally found a solution to my dilemma. A way to alleviate some of the financial stress burdening my heroes. Or have you figured it out already? Are you giving them all raises? Are you reducing the guild's cut? Are you cutting costs around the guild hall? A tighter overhead budget would free up money for other uses. You know, I like that idea quite a lot, in fact. I like it so much that it's the very thing I tried upon my arrival. Any unnecessary fat as long s has long since been trimmed. Otherwise, you wouldn't catch me dusting quite so often. Okay, I'll bite. What's your idea? I'll tell you, it's education, Sylvia. Starting tomorrow, I shall be giving a series of lectures aimed to dem dem demystifying venture capitalism. Demystifying. There it is. Yes. Ah. Uh, therefore, empowering my people to grow their capital through the judicious application of first class investment strategies. Oh boy. I know, it's a mouthful, but don't worry. I'll be peppering the seminar with rib ribald jokes just to keep them interested. It's a sweet idea. Uh-oh, your words are flattering, but your tone is not. The thing about investing money is that you have to have the money to invest. It's a great way to make rich the rich richer, but for those of us struggling just to get by? Oh, oh, I see. All the investment tips in the world wouldn't help if you don't have two coins to rub together. What a shame. I was so looking forward to lending a, leading a seminar. Although this might explain why the sign-up sheet remains empty. I'd be up for hearing your ribald jokes. I haven't written any yet. Locker room talk isn't my strength. But I did take the time to draft up a new co coupon for you. I trust that effort at least, that effort at least, was not wasted. Thank you. Well, this definitely alleviates my financial burdens. Nice to know I still have some good ideas. It's within my power to fix the guild's problems, Sylvia. I'm sure of that, but I'm baffled on the how of it. I clearly have some more, uh, some more thinking to do, but I have figured out one thing. You are a wonderful sounding board, and I don't take that for granted. Not for a moment, not and not one bit. Yeah, da, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. No! I gave him a fungus! <sighs> I'm it's total cool. Bum, 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 ba, da, bum, ba, da, bum. Oh, I should have bought that wood. Hi, 
Hi, baby. I can see you want attention, so I give you some love. You're extra needy today. But that's okay, because we are doing a bunch of story today. As fast as I can. <clears throat> Go to the cats. Hi, baby. Good boy. Bum, bum, bum. Bring any fish. Do, 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 do. There's a bomb. What? Where? Hi, Sylvia. There's no bomb. Yeah, don't spill your sand or anything. I just wanted to make a point. You gotta start out loud and bombastic if you want to grab someone's attention. They're going right in with the card. I apply a vast ye. Also apply shout for two turns. Can only be played as an opener. Never gonna use that. Good tactic, or maybe that's the massive adrenaline rush talking. Hey, put that energy to use. You want to help us out again? What's on the agenda? More vendettas? This is bigger than that. Way bigger. And we gotta plan uh, We gotta plan out tomorrow's naps. Incredible. Naps? Seriously? It sounds like a small thing, but naps are important, Sylvia. Yeah, there's an old rhyme to help you remember. Rested pirates? Nice and quiet. Cranky pirates? They start riots. Pepper writes out a series of equations on a roll of parchment. The tricky part is that pirates will only nap in a patch of direct sunlight. Incredible. Yeah, we gotta account for the precise precision of the sun. Which changes by minor degrees each day, as do the exact number of minutes between dawn and dusk. At Pepper's direction, Sylvia uses a yardstick to measure out the shadows that will be cast by ships and cargo at various points throughout the day. The math is surprisingly complicated, but Salt and Pepper eventually have a nap schedule that will accommodate the entire crew. But wait a minute, what if it's cloudy tomorrow? Then get ready for some riots! <laughs> Maybe I should board up my windows just in case. Uh, I forget you're fragile. I promised Pepper I wouldn't stress you out so much. A little weird that a sweet kitten like you would choose to set up shop on an island like this. Given that it's overrun with mutants and monsters, I mean. Monsters, bring them on! I was hoping I'd get to see a dragon or something by now. Hey, there's the swagger. Sylvia the Slayer here. Don't back down from no monsters, right? Monsters aren't so scary. Whatever you say, Captain. Monsters are just like any other living thing. They need to eat. They need to sleep. They know fear. And what makes them vulnerable? Oh, he's on it. He's crazy. Go get your toy. I got your tablet. Hi. Yeah. That was close. Go get it. <laughs> he's so cute. That makes them vulnerable. See, Pepper believes in being prepared. He's got a strategy of single podly take down any monsters you can name. Even dragons? They seem pretty tough. Their hide is tough, sure. Not so much the thin membrane on their wings. And, and their covetous things, which makes baiting a trap very easy. I would set out a few goats and a pile of gold in a clearing. When the dragon takes the bait, shred one of its wings. It'll be, it'll be forced to fight you on land. You s that still sounds pretty dangerous. <laughs> Not if you stuff those goats with explosives. Oh my god. In the end, it's about planning ahead and controlling the field of battle. Jeez. I'm convinced. How about you? The Heroes Guild needs to hear this. I almost feel bad for the monsters. <laughs> Sounds like they don't stand a chance. They should have thought of that before attacking us in the purely hypothetical scenarios. <laughs> but enough daydreaming. We got piratical stuff to get back to. 
which may or may not involve showing some belligerent beasties who's really in charge out there. <laughs> da -da 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 nice breeze today, right? Supply run! First things first, let's get some ice cream. We'll even pay for it instead of stealing, out of respect for your chosen profession. That's big of you. Pretty big, yeah. I only hope that this place finally took my feedback and has expanded its flavor offerings accordingly. I don't know what they didn't ha why they didn't have seafood flavored ice cream to begin with. It's like a no-brainer. I think you're out of luck. I don't see anything seafoody, and I don't smell it. Fine, we'll stick with the plain. Plain? Do you mean vanilla? Nah, vanilla's a flavor, isn't it? I mean plain milk flavored. The way Ka Tuna intended. It's not the most flavorful ice cream Sylvia's ever had, but any ice cream is better than none. Salt and pepper lap enthusiastically as at their own scoops while they are tiny pink with their tiny pink tongues. Whoa. So good. So good. And you just can't get this on the high seas. I guess there's got to be some kind of trade-off, right? Otherwise, I don't see the appeal. If I spent as much time on land as you let, um, as you lovers do, I'd just be pissed off all the time. So no change, really. <laughs> Captain Peanut Gallery over there. Uh, but you know the best part of life on the high seas. The freedom. The idea that you could just lift an anchor and go anywhere. Yeah, that ain't bad. But it's not like we don't have ties that bind us. No, the best part is you're always with your mates, your crew's your family, and you get to take them wherever you go. It's why we take the Blood Brother process so seriously. We gotta really put the screws to ya. Make sure you're not the type to spill your sand at the first sign of trouble. What does spill your sand mean? I'm not familiar. It's a pirate thing. Each of us carries a vial of sand, Sylvia. The sand is collected from the beach on which we're born. Yeah, mostly we spend our lives on ships, but when a litter is about to be born, we try to find a cozy patch of sand somewhere. Birthing is a messy business. Better to do in nature's litter box than to swab the deck with the bleach. And carrying some of that sand out to sea with us feels meaningful. It's a cool custom. It's sort of paradoxical. Sort of taking a little piece of home with you. Yes, sand no. It's not like the beach is our real home, and the ship is a replacement. I think of it this way. The sand connects us with the place of our birth, but it's not like an anchor. It's more like a reminder that we can take the important stuff with us. Home ain't a static place, if you follow. And now that you know our secrets... We gotta kill ya! <laughs> Wait, you're just saying if I'll spill my sand. And demonstration... And demonstrating another pirate haggling hack. He can't show him no weakness, Sylvia. No quarter. Give no quarter. Remove all customer buffs. Then raise interest by 13. Close sale. Interesting. All right, no quarter will be given. You got spirit for a landlubber. Grumble. Ugh. And I've got indigestion. Me do. Why does this happen with ice cream every time? You think they're trying to poison us? Like that sushi place that time? Is it possible you're lactose intolerant? I'll cry. I don't know what that means, but I ain't known for my tolerance, so probably. <laughs> I need to find a litter box. Yeah, you and me both. We'll see you around, Sylvia. Hot tip, you might want to steer clear of this area for a good 20 minutes or so. <laughs> <clears throat> Incredible. Man, another one. Woo! My vocal chords. Chord as a... Hey, Sylvia, you recognize this potion? At a wave of Sylvia... Okay. At a wave of Salt's paw, Pepper holds up a glittering potion. The color and clarity are superb. That's a good-looking potion. Is it one of mine? It sure is. We procured it off one of your customers. I'm flattered, but I could have made one for you. So you're saying it's not irreplaceable or nothing? Good to know. <laughs> Pepper, dump it out, please. Pepper uncorks the bottle and dumps its contents into the sea. Hey, what gives? 
We needed a fancy container for your ceremony. Something you had a connection to. You could have just asked me for a spare bottle. Consider it the a one last test of your com commitment. And honestly, you gotta be ready for these shocking twists. Running with us means weathering some storms sometimes. So gird your loins, ho, oh, before anybody can kick at them. Batten down the hatches. Choose one, apply stalwart or decrease stress by five. Okay. You're right, I should have seen that coming. Now come on, if you're done crying over spilt milk, we've got something big in mind for today. Spilt milk makes me cry. You've been running with us a while now, and one thing's clear. You're definitely blood brother You're definitely blood brother material. I can count on one paw the times you've backed down from danger, and there's n only one thing we value more than fearlessness. Family. That's right, and we don't just mean the kittens in our birth litter, either. See, as a pirate, you get to make your own family. How great is that? So what do you say? Are you ready to become a blood brother? Yes. Let's do it! That's the right attitude. And hey, bonus, our verbal com confirmation absolves us of liability. Huh? It'll be fine. Just do exactly as I tell you. We. Oui. Thus begins a strange ritual, the full significance of which are, is largely lost on Sylvia. First she has to bathe, which mostly involves licking her hands. Ugh. Now I have brimstone and leather fibers on my tongue. You're supposed to take your gloves off first. There is some mutual sniffing, and then the pirates break into a lively sea shanty. And so the kittens lost their mittens! Upon the raging sea! Oh yeah, that was good. That goes on for a while. All right. <laughs> that was cute. Time for the grand finale. Normally, we'd have you urinate in the sand over there. But you seem like the type to be pee shy. And we ain't got all day. So drop a loogie instead. It amounts to the same thing, marking your territory. It's still gr like graffiti, Sylvia. Uh, it's like graffiti. Sylvia was here. As indentations go, this isn't too bad. Nah, there's no indentation. We're just hanging out. <laughs> I guess there's one sort of ceremonial thing we did do. Oh, we gotta do, Pepper. Sylvia, we would like to present you with a bottle of sand from this beach. As you know, every pirate carries sand from their birthplace. In your case, this beach is the site of your rebirth as a pirate. Now, wherever you go, whatever you do, you'll have a piece of rafter with you. And if we're apart, it'll remind you of us too. Plus, in a pinch, it kind of works as a portable litter box. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'll cherish this. And I'm sort of relieved it was no actual blood involved. Forget that. Somebody here faints at the sight of, at the very sight of blood. That somebody is salt. Hmm. <laughs> Literally cat events all day. All right. Come on, blood brother. Let's get out of here. Where to? There's a party at the Heroes Guild and we want to see the place. As buildings go, the Guild Hall is one fine sea vessel. The fact that it's intact after all the crack and at all after a crack of battle tells you those sailors knew what they were doing. And they really showed that old witch a thing or two. Do you remember the day Maven was defeated? Remember? Jeez, how old do you think I am? But the gray muzzles tell stories of a time when the particular island was totally off limits. Whatever else she was up to, I ain't one to judge. But keeping the riches of this place to herself, that gets my hackles up. Her death was good for business. And no disputing. Although, they never found a body or nothing. Makes you wonder. Anyway, about this party. If you can believe it, Pepper and I were actually invited. <laughs> But we heard you know some th some of those heroes. Think you can get us in? Weren't actually invited, I see. Oh, I'll talk to Baptiste. I bet he'll let you in. And what if he says no? Better to sneak us in. You leave a window open, and our cat-like agility will do the rest. I don't want to piss any heroes off. I uh, piss off any heroes though. Who wants to get smited? Then I guess you better not get caught. 
Also, it's smoked. <laughs> Incredible. Hey, this party's alright. Oh. Just card collecting now? It feels like it's 10 p.m. already, but it's for something, and I kind of want to go to the mall or something. Um. Yes, I figure I should plow through the days as fast as I can. I don't need money, and I don't have... Uh, I have all my potions for the competition already, so I'm just seeing how far I can level up my uh, relationships, yeah. Why is it so dark already? <laughs> is it really dark where you're at? Um, I am a big fan of a shopping spree, so... I would not tell you not to. Just saying. I mean, nothing's on fire, but it's early still. I like the trophies. We could do something like that. We'd have too many. The ship would sink under the weight of our many triumphs. Salt and pepper are a pure injection of energy into the party. What are you doing? The crowd grows louder and more animated with in their vicinity. The next round's on the captain! Huzzah! Sylvia is skeptical about the idea of mixing so much liquor with so much dairy. When the pirates chug, she sips. Oh yeah, you are wonderful. I am so glad you are a blood brother, brother. <laughs> blood brother? Oh boy, somebody's got into the catnip. Sylvia, you ready to go? I could use some help getting the captain back. Also, I've been getting dirty looks since that chandelier came down. Like it's my fault it wasn't bolted in better. I could talk to Baptiste, try to smooth things over. Eh, I ain't bothered. What's he gonna do? But here, was gonna give you this coupon anyway. You can always pass it along if you want to mollify him. Oh, oh, oh yeah! That's good, because they're expensive. I think I'd rather keep it for myself. Now you're talking like a pirate. Alright, I think I gave them one. Yeah, our covers are full. Whoa! This seems new. Underworld pomegranate? Whoa, yeah, whoa, yeah. This, I think, is new, too. I don't understand the point of having those, though. This is also new. Oh, that's my first CDE one. Yeah, I don't know the point of the ingredients that have everything. I don't get it. Don't forget to aid your competition potions. Oh! Zam! I already forgot! No, I'll have to do it tomorrow. Yeah, what would I do without you? Holy crap. Do -do. Oh, I should have given those ingredients too. The end is nigh. Will you be ready for the showdown? Tell me you will be. No. Orange potions. Bum, 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 bum. My uncle 
Patrick. <coughs> Whoa. Thank you so much for reminding me. Because I doth forgot. Hmm. Gardening. to make sure I have one of these. Since I'll be going into the competition, I probably will use Rattle and Mop. Probably won't need Deep Connection. Chest by three. Is it this one? Oops. Reduce chest by one at the start of each turn. Last until the end of the current haggling se session. I don't think I really need that. This might be really nice. I don't know where it is though. Oh. Yeah, it's so weird when you have like extra five extra days and there's nothing to do. Yeah, I, before I was able to, like, level up my shelves and stuff, but I feel like I'm in a really good place there, and I was also like, oh, the train's passing, one second. <laughs> Yeah, I actually just put that in my deck, so perfect. Read my mind? Way so much patience in those. And, um, yeah, but the problem I'm running into right now is that I'm not short on money. I don't need to find new ingredients to make certain kinds of potions. I am under the assumption that this will be the end of the game that I'm coming up on. I don't know, but um, kind of feels like I just 
can take a lot of time to go build relationships that I wasn't doing before. I mean, I was, but I wasn't. Truly solid foundation for friendship. Huh. Go in peace. Got some new items. It's only been an hour? Hour of reading. <laughs> How exhilarating! <clears throat> A bug. For you. Pretty, but I think I have it. Tired of work if you want to loiter. I've earned a treat. I think you've earned one too. I do like ice cream. Then you shall have it, darling. Just let me do the talking. Roxanne slinks up to the counter and orders a pair of spicy cinnamon ice creams. She goes for her wallet, but it isn't there. She mutters apologies. She pats herself down, searching, coming up empty. I want ice cream. Hey, I just got some crumble cookies, which is not ice cream, so that was the worst segue. Um, but the peppermint one, it's not for me. I love peppermint, but the consistency of the frosting really, really reminded me of toothpaste. And then she bursts into tears. The hapless ice cream merchant, desperate to stem the weeping, offers the treats free of charge. Oh my god. Roxanne quickly brightens up a little too quickly. What was that? That was the performance of a lifetime. And if you haven't yet tried the emotional minefield technique, you very much should. Oh my God. Apply emotional minefield for one turn. If the customer complains, apply sympathy for the following turn and raises interest by 10. Dang. I don't hate that. I'll practice it. But first, ice cream. Sylvia tucks into her ice cream immediately. It's tasty. She devours half of it, and Roxanne still hasn't touched hers. What's on your mind? 
Oh, just mulling over my recent accomplishments. As of this morning, I've submitted all the paperwork and fees required for my business license. Nice job, Roxanne. Now all that remains is to schedule my exam. I've heard that test is pretty tough. To which I say, bring it on. I, if I feared a challenge, I never would have ended up here. Tell me more. How did you end up here? I don't think you ever said. You've ever said. It wasn't exactly my inheritance, I can tell you that much. As a girl, I had an insatiable interest in the surface world, inspired by the bits of debris <coughs> that made its way down from the human cities above. Uh, whoa. Empty flasks and loose change, bootlaces and hair ribbons. I'd pour over all of it. But my favorites were the magazines. They were full of images of beautiful women living lives of glamour and luxury. They made it all seem so very attainable. And though there were no demons pictured in those perfumed pages, well, my powers of illusion were second to none, so I decided to ascend. I left a note for my parents and took off into the night. So she's a demon or sucky this or something. I think she just said demon. I don't know. She might have also said sucky this, but definitely demon. But the surface world has was not what I expected. Whereby those with more money than they could ever need can use their money as a sort of lure, trapping others in an endless cycle of toil, hope, and obligation, all while increasing their own wealth naturally. Faster than I would have thought possible, I went from having nothing to having less than nothing. I was in debt, deep, dangerous, demoralizing debt, and I realized I always would be so long as I continue to play by the rules of rich men. Wow, Roxanne, I had no idea. Yes, generally I prefer it that way, but something about you makes me want to come clean. It's probably your big bovine eyes. Did you just say I have cow eyes? Ha! <laughs> anyway, now that uh, now you know how I ended up running cons on the streets of Rafta, I've had it rough too. I've had it easy by comparison. I know you think my inheritance was a real windfall, but I felt the crushing weight of debt. I feel it right now. But you didn't start with nothing, did you? You had something of a leg up from the start. It's hard to keep perspective when it feels like I'm one bad day away from losing everything. Fair enough. No one's life is without real challenges. I suppose we had to learn that if something seems too good to be true, it probably is. <clears throat> Solid basis for a friendship. Don't you think? I'll admit, I am glad I never tore you to pieces. Going for ice cream is altogether more pleasant than picking gristle out of my claws. <laughs> yeah, about that. I couldn't help noticing. You haven't touched your ice cream, and now it's all melted. Oh, good! This is how I prefer it, you see. God! Ice cream headaches are my greatest vulnerability. <laughs> wow, we must really be friends if you're telling me your weaknesses. Weakness singular. <laughs> You're welcome to look for more than one, but I don't like your odds, dear. That's funny. Rank up. Say, your lips look extra glossy today. Right out with it. I just touched up my makeup a minute ago. It pays to put in the effort to look your best. If only because it can provide a surge of self-confidence. Chapstick. Uses lipstick. <clears throat> apply confident for two turns. If opener, apply for three turns instead. I don't hate that. I can make an effort. You don't tell me... You don't, But don't tell me you need more confidence. Generally, no. Although I've been doing some soul-searching as of late. Terribly inconvenient stuff stuff soul searching it started when i ran into someone on the street an old friend an old mark a man i fleeced for quite a bit of gold over the last few months he spotted me through the crowd he approached i was sure he intended to cause a scene perhaps demand his money back instead he tried to give me money he told me he'd miss my potions he offered me a goodly sum for a fresh dose of my anti-baldness elixir okay that is definitely not a potion that exists. I know that, and you know that. 
he'd never figured it out. And my first thought was, easy money, right? But something happened. As I stood there, staring in the man's trusting eyes and swiftly receding hairline. I love how she just sets up shop in your basement. I know, the audacity. When I was reading that, I was like, I'm sorry, what? And there's lava down there? I imagined our rules were reversed. I felt empathy. So you told him the truth? Oh, heavens no. I told him I was late for my charity work at, at a home for plucky <coughs> suit-covered orphans, and I, <laughs> I beat a hasty retreat. But I didn't take his money. I think perhaps that's due to your influence. And I suppose I just wanted to tell you that that is I thought you should know. Yes. That if not for this ridiculous ridiculous moral code, I'd have extra money with which to pay you rent. Dang. Is it too late to go back and please the guy? <laughs> that opportunity, like the man's bangs, is lost forever. Now, let's get out of here for a spell. I'm in the mood for a change of scenery. <laughs> Such a strange place, the forest. It's so open. And no one interrupts us. And no one to hear us scream. Keep your eyes peeled for monsters. I'll protect you, I assure you. There's nothing in the vicinity fiercer than I. Except you, perhaps. You've already gotten the better of me once. You mean in the competition? That doesn't exactly make me fierce, doesn't it? When I first saw you, I sized you up immediately. I pegged you for a spoiled little girl who'd never had to fight or scrape for anything in her life. And I was certain you'd be easy prey. I'm not too proud to admit I was wrong. Wrong on all counts. You're a fighter, Sylvia. You're every bit of fighter the fighter I am. Thank you for acknowledging that. You're definitely tougher. Though, you weren't wrong about that. Maybe, but I suppose I've decided that suffering isn't a competition. We have common ground, and a lot of it. I thought that made us enemies. Then I thought it made us allies. But we're more, even than just allies, aren't we? Sylvia, I've noticed your rather adorable attempts at catching my eye. However, I have also noticed that you are not unattached. Now, I'm always up for a bit of fun, but it seems to me you have a good thing going. The last thing I'd want is to complicate that. You're right, I should probably dial back the fir flirting. I have intentionally not been doing it. Oh, you don't need to go that far. <laughs> flirting is fun. Even better with friends. And we are friends, after all, aren't we? Of course we're friends. I disagree with that. Um... That's no small thing, not to me. Sylvia, your kindness and support, your belief in me, you're the best friend I've ever had. Ever. Roxanne, that's... that's so nice. I can't help bracing myself, waiting for a zinger about my hair. I give you a hard time, I know. I'll try to go easier on you. But teasing is how I express affection, and I have a great deal of affection for you, Sylvia. I mean, I must care for you a great deal if I'm able to overlook so very many shortcomings. There it is. <laughs> I jest because I care and because it's easier than saying thank you. But thank you, Sylvia. Without you, I don't know where I'd be. Maybe in the end, I would have been fine on my own, but maybe not. And my life is certainly better for having you in it. Blech. Let's go! You know, my trap door is always open. Interesting. I need to work off some steam, and yoga isn't cutting it today. Not even hot yoga with baby goats. Can I help somehow? You're a faithful friend, Sylvia. Just knowing what uh, you want to help is helpful in its own right. That's why I asked you out here for a bit of therapy. Roxanne pulls a heavy sledgehammer from behind a bush. Oh my god. Wait, where did that thing come from? Oh, I have weapons stashed all over town. Perhaps that's a haggling tip you can try. It's not at all relevant to haggling. Oh, fine. Here's a coupon instead. <laughs> that's fine. That works. Thanks. Now, shall we? Roxanne has brought a satchel full of junk she found at a secondhand shop. 
There are dinner plates, glass pitchers, little ceramic animals. Roxanne sets them all in a row and sets it to smashing them with her mallet. She's smiling now, exhilarated by the destruction. Then she hands the hammer over to Sylvia, who isn't sure at first. But as a terracotta unicorn shatters beneath her blow, blow she immediately understands the appeal. Fun, isn't it? I call it smash and gab. Maybe it could be my next business after this enchanting lark falls apart. Always smart to have a plan B. Don't sell yourself short. The enchanting business is going to work. It's that sort of baseless optimism that makes me wonder sometimes if you and I are on the same planet. <laughs> I could be the most I could be the most talented enchantress of all time. <coughs> it has a little bearing on my odds of success. Tell me what's going on. We smashed now gab. If you insist. It's just that I have this exam coming up that's the final hurdle in securing my business license. So I took a practice exam. It came back with so much red. It looked like a murder scene. And I wasn't expecting it. I thought I'd do just fine. There's no shame in it. That's the whole point of a practice exam. It just means that you have to hit the books. Oh, I tried that. I also tried biting, scratching, and kicking the books. You know what I meant. You need to study. But that's absurd. I know all of this already. I'm running a profitable business. Why in the world should I have to study then for a test about... Why should I have to study then for a test about how to run a business? Because there's a difference between practical knowledge and book smarts. The former might be enough to do the work, but if you want your license, you have to prove that you have the latter too. So let me get this straight. It's not enough that I've shelled out my hard-earned money and filled out their little forms. I'm also expected to parrot their little trivia back at them. <clears throat> All to earn the approval to do the work that I'm already doing? Oh, you preach it, sister. But that is quite a scam, and I would know. That's the system we're stuck in, for better or for worse. The business world definitely has its own set of rules. Just think of it like a game. A game? But you know if I play a game, then I play to win. Exactly. I know you'll do whatever it takes. Even if it means spending hours memorizing trivia. I know it when a gauntlet's been thrown down. Very well. I'm going to crush this exam, Sylvia. I'll do whatever it takes. But first, I'm going to find a new hiding spot for this sledgehammer. I have a feeling it'll be needing it. I'll be needing it again soon. That's really funny. Okay. Okay. I don't know what I've done today. Ah! Oh! Ah! Yeah, yo, it would be as soon as you join too. Yeah, it scares me every time. I usually have one headphone off so I can hear like the chihuahuas so I can catch it in time if it's something like that. But lately we've had some people moving in next door and so... <laughs> he just backed it out of it, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, you do. Um... I'm trying to cruise through the storyline um, to get to the competition, but I don't think we're going to make it to the competition before. Actually, we might, because I might be running out of story soon. We'll find out. I'm in too good a mood to be confined indoors today. What's this? Oh, uh, it's like an Animal Crossing. Show dog. It's quite the definition you want to see Inky right now. You've got his brother in your house. 
<laughs> oh, look at him. Oh, he's such a cute dog. Oh. <laughs> oh, he's a good boy. Who's my baby? Oh. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna read with me? You wanna read with me? You're just listening, I can hear it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna keep reading now. So don't go for those cookies. You are of Satan. You want to play hooky for a bit? I like the idea in theory, but what if I'm needed here? Just put on some bar snacks. <clears throat> put out some bar snacks. Lock up the liquor and leave a first aid kit with mint. The heroes will be fine. You don't, uh, you do have a knack for anticipating the needs of others, don't you? I hope you deploy that level of emotional intelligence when you're haggled. Emotional intelligence. Raise interest by eight. If customer has an active debuff, raise interest by 25. Holy. Unfortunately, a lot of these cards aren't going to matter when I'm versing, when I'm doing this competition. <laughs> Thanks for the tip and the compliment. And actually, I'll take some bar snacks for the road too. It's amusing. When I was a kid, my parents had to bribe me to go outside. I never wanted to leave the house. Now I think I'd go mad if I didn't get out in the open air at least once a day. I guess people change. But I had an ulterior motive for coming to this spot in particular. I wanted a proper look at that big glorious skull. You see it there? It's the Kraken Skull. It's hard to miss. The Kraken Skull casts a sinister shadow over the beach. Although, uh, oh, you are getting your nose pushing on my keyboard, mister. I hear you. I love you. Uh, yes, I, oh, I love you so much. I love you so much. Okay, we're leaning back. <gasps> Hi, hello, baby. Yes, hello. <laughs> Trapped. Although it sits in the shallows within easy reach, beachgoers all give it a wide berth. You know the story, I assume, about how a group of heroes came here to dispo depose Maven, but first had to get past the her guardian kraken. Could you imagine having a guardian, having a guardian kraken? That was pretty crazy. I guess it wouldn't do much good on her, on uh, what? The skull is all that remi remains of the creature. What do you think of it? It's super morbid. It's pretty cool. It's an important piece of history. Leaving it there really connects this place to its past. Right you are. Foundational myths are important to any community. So is remembering the sacrifices made by generations past. Twenty years ago, a band of adventurers set out on a quest to vanquish a fiendish witch queen. Bro, I know this. They knew it was insanely dangerous. Still, they left their homes and they and their loved ones behind. They hoisted their weapons and their sails. They answered the call. Why, though? For money? For fame? Or because it was the right thing to do? The answer is... All of those reasons are correct. Their actions were courageous. Their intentions noble. But they were professionals. And professionals expect compensation in return for their expertise. Yeah, we have a saying in my circles. A potion maker can't pull nutrients from the glass of swallowed flasks. It loses something in translation from the original Draconic. But the point is, everybody's got to eat, and in our world that means making money. A concern that I personally never had. Baptiste thumps a small flat stone he picked up somewhere along the beach. He winds back, sending it skipping across the water. It goes a good distance, nearly making it all the way across the bay to the skull itself. You are licking the monitor, fam. Oh, I love you. <laughs> wow, you're good at that. The little baby, my doggy baby. Whoa. I got you so good. Get spooked, dude. 
Thanks. Living a carefree childhood, I had ample time to develop useless skills. It's only now dawning on me that all my little privileges added up to larger differences. Never having concerns where my money was coming from, that left me ill-equipped to understand the needs of those in my employ. It seems obvious enough now, but I want heroes to join my guild and stay in my guild. Then if I want them, then I need to compensate them for their vital labor. But that's easier said than done. I'm not at all sure where that money should come from. Sounds like you have something, some thinking to do, and some math. If only there were all a... What? If only that were all I had ahead of me. But our sparring dummies need to be stitched up. Arrows and potions need to be restocked, and the dust bunnies look to be planning a revolt. Re revolt. <laughs> That's funny. It's hard to wrap one's head around systemic change when the chores never seem to let up. But this is the job. It's my job. And if there's a problem, it falls on me to solve it. Oh, are you, you want, okay. <laughs> so solve it I shall as the space bars. Oh, nice. I'd best enjoy these last few moments of the sea breeze because when I get back to the guild hall, I have my work cut out for me. Baptiste sure has a lot on his plate. I can't solve all his problems for him. But at least I can provide some potions. Oh, yeah! Nice. Ooh. You're my baby! My baby! I have those potions already, I think. Don't quote me on it. Don't quote me on it. Hmm. I don't think saffron's up. I think I gifted her today. Yeah. Okay, let's see about muck tuck. Oh my baby. He's such a good boy. I love you. Alright. Gift muck tuck. Okay, I already did it today. The fire can wait a while. You want me to let you down? can't tell. I can see it in your eyes, Sylvia. You wish to know if I have made progress. You wish to know if the great work nears completion. Sadly, the answer is no. Your dear muck tuck is in a rut. What's the problem? Maybe I can help. That is so good of you. But my difficulty, it is metaphysical in nature. At this stage in my pilgrimage, the ancestors should bellow, filling my muscles with resolute purpose. Instead, they whisper, they gesture, and I find myself unsure how to proceed. You can't rush genius, or you could seek inspiration elsewhere. It would be faster than waiting around. Sylvia, what you suggest, it borders on sacrilege. Whoops. And yet... What is art without transgression? Perhaps the ancestors are quiet because they wish for me to turn my attention outward. It is decided. A change in scenery is called for. A quest for inspiration. Let us away! You awake? You awake? And here we are in the bosom of nature's beauty. At the sound of Muktuk's booming voice, birds take flight scattering into the air. Muktuk seems pleased by this. He notes where the birds originated, then approaches their now abandoned tree. See there, cradled gently between the branches, a bird's nest is a marvelous thing. It serves a purpose, a crucial one. That purpose informs everything about its construction, from the materials used to its very shape. Yet, there is room for flourish, for creative expression. See how no two nests are precisely alike? See the subtle variations in point? You see it? In that protein gap between form and function, purpose and playfulness, that is where we see art. I want to meet the bird who just who used tinsel in their very in her nest. Very festive. Quite so, a daring choice. And it glitters so prettily, not unlike 
your eyes when they catch the torchlight. Oh my god, what the- I am taken. Forgive me for being mawkish. Something about this forest body. It sets one's mind to flights of fancy. We do not have such flora where I come from. Really? No trees? Oh, we have trees. But they are sol 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 solitary. Holy! Barren things. The harsh, wintry climate of my homeland does not allow for such verdancy. No wonder you like the forge. No wonder you're so scantily clad. I don't really know. What the heck? It's one way to chase away a chill, and what sweet music it makes. But this is why we travel. Why we leave the safety of home to see things we would otherwise not dream possible. Oh. For even the wildest of imaginations is limited by our context and our experiences. The broader your horizons, the bolder the imag Im imaginings become. It can get lonely, though, being an outsider, being so far away from home. I know well of what you speak, for even in the land of immigrants, Muktuk is a curiosity. But this is why, as I have said before, we must know our own worth. Where others might falter, we are working artisans, determined to leave our mark on strange land, must put our best selves forward, and if in our hearts of heart in our heart of hearts we hold some doubt, we do not show it. Instead we show confidence and unshakable bravado. Apply bravado for two turns. Applies three additional interests whenever a card is played. Ooh, that is nice. That seems like something I should put in my deck. Fake it till you make it, right? But hey, how are you feeling about your project? You seem super inspired by the nest. A wondrous sight it was. Yet in truth, I think it could have been better. The execution was interesting, but there is something deeply derivative in the conception. Harsh but fair. Alas, it is ever so. Other artists uh, with their own flaws and foibles, foibles? I don't know, can only ever offer so much. Still, my mood is improved. I am happy to have spent this time in nature. Hey, and most assuredly, to have spent it with you. Oh, sorry to wake you up, baby. With your departure, the fire dims. We're getting close. Well, we might actually finish next day. Increase professional customers, increasing customers, increase value of peers. Okay, let's see if our potions are done. Mm -hmm. So expensive. not be a bad time to um, open the shop one day, right? One day. Let's see how much time I end up having. I don't even know why I'm putting these ingredients in my slimes. <laughs> Alas. Oh, the baby. And Pepper's Wharf. <laughs> Crater Wall. Ooh. Whoa, this is new. Orchid of the Ice Princess. Looks like I didn't go there enough because it's like the second I am. Okay, cats. 
Okay, cats are maxed out for what I'm gonna get them to anyways. <clears throat> I was just thinking about you. <laughs> and the mints as friendly as it's gonna get. We're not gonna be friends with corsairs. Zid. and salutations. Oh, shoot. I forgot to try and give him those potions. Yeah. Hmm. I did these things. A gem for Roxanne. Not gonna be friends with Luna. At least by the competition. Punky suits are cute. Da -da -da. Mm -hmm. I'm happy you came by. I had something a little different in mind for today. Have you ever made whiskey from tree sap? Tree sap whiskey? I didn't even know that was possible. It's possible and delicious. A cat by the name of Sugar entrusted the recipe to me. He was one of my companions, the rogue of the group, and our captain when we were on the water. His damage output was matched only by his alcohol tolerance. The tree any and tree sap whiskey was his favorite. He used to say it had more kick than an angry centimule. I'm sold. Where do we start? Well, the first thing we've got to do is ask a tree for permission to tap it. Seriously? You can talk to trees? In truth, it's less about talking and more about listening. Trees are constantly communicating. They send out signals to other trees about environmental hazards and each tree's leaves and bark hold a treasure trove of information about its health and history. We've just got to find an ambrosia tree of moderate age that has plentiful sap and a genial nature. Saffron leads the way through the forest. She places her palms against certain trees along the path. She seems to be listening for something, but Sylvia hears nothing. At last, Saffron finds a tree that says... Uh, she says will suit their needs. She carves into it with a specially prepared spork made of a dark, dense wood. Her sporking skills show great precision. She cuts just deep enough that the wound drips a steady stream of sap into her waiting bucket. Thank you for your generosity, proud sentinel of the wood. I'll patch you up when we're done. Sylvia, we just have to wait until that bucket's full. Then we can head back to my place. I'm glad you're here to show me the way. I'm totally turned around. I forgot some people struggle to navigate the woods. It is just something you get the hang of over time? That's part of it, sure, but the larger piece is about paying attention. Take the trees to start. They might appear interchangeable at a glance, but they don't really look the same at all. These forests contain pines, oaks, glowing willows, all grouped in unique arrangements. I should learn the difference. That would take ages to learn. I could at least try to figure out what's distinguishable pine from a what's his willow. I'd be so happy to help with that. But let's see the trees. Uh, let's set the trees aside for a moment. If what you see is not enough to help you get your bearings, there are other senses you can rely upon. Notice the tang of sea salt on the air. This music is awesome. 
Feel the sponginess of the moss beneath our hooves. This particular spot of woodland is a spot like no other. And this is what I really mean when I talk about mindfulness, Sylvia. It's not just about shutting out the stress, but about what you choose to take in. It's about being truly present. I think I follow you. I know I could be better about living in the moment. It's a struggle when there are bills to pay. I understand. Maybe this will ease the burden, if only a little bit. Hmm, that does help. I've already gotten all the shop upgrades, so I appreciate this. <laughs> Some whiskey might help too. Is it almost ready? Oh, I'm afraid I may have given you the wrong impression. This process takes several decades. <laughs> but the anticipation is part of the pleasure. Take these next 30 years to prepare your senses. That's hilarious. And in the meantime, I've got some cheap moonshine stashed away in, an, in one of these tree hollows, I think. I don't know if you guys can see, but he's sleeping. He's doing a little twitchy sleep dance. All right, Muck Tuck, back to you, dude. Dude. artwork in isolation from the context of its creation. No. Ah, I crushed it. At best, perhaps I can learn from its technical proficiency. If nothing else, it is impressive in that regard. It would be tough to beat. You're pretty impressive yourself. Reinforce. For three turns. Gain three shield. Reduces stress received from all sources by 50%. You know, I'm going to end that part here. Okay, we are going to go arrange potions. I'm going to sell a couple potions. I know one of these are my fancy potion for the thing. <laughs> I'll just do that many. Deck builder. I'm gonna get rid of that and introduce this one. Open up shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chill professional. Okay. Bravado for two turns. Isn't that... Okay, yeah. Close deal. <clears throat> Thanks for your business. That's a nice cauldron. I guess business is good. I need to more, know more about this potion so I can make a decision. Ooh. 
that interest <clears throat> that was glorious I'm supporting a family business I think you'll like this no Nice. <clears throat> I promise I value your time. Fifty-seven. Thank you. It's a bargain. It's a deal. So dreamy. Reject. <clears throat> Hi, baby. Good morning. Yo. I'm gonna move you. I'm gonna do the competition real fast. I love you. Okay. Careful. 
Good night. Link. He's so cute. I love him. <clears throat> okay. End day. <clears throat> La -dee 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 -dee. Wow. This is it. Tomorrow is the big day. Victory's within our grasp. Come out ahead in that competition and you'll be free of debt and I'll be free of feathers. Assuming you haven't noticed it next to, uh, haven't decided to accept Robin's offer, of course, to throw the match, to take the money and leave me in the lurch. I should have, which is an absurd idea. I know you wouldn't do that. You wouldn't do that, right? Relax, Oswald. We're in this together and there's no turning back now. Such resilience, if I'm honest, I find it fascinating. What's the secret to your resolve, Sylvia? In the face of so much adversity, what makes you tick? Well, right this very moment, I'm holding out for an apology. From me, you mean? You know, I suppose I do you owe you an apology of sorts. It was wrong of me to suggest you forfeit to offer you a deal like I did. It's much better for things to play out this way. Much better for me... Much better for the town to see me win against an opponent who's putting up a fight. It will make my victory all the more glorious. Yeah, totally. Unless you lose, of course. You really think you have a chance tomorrow? <laughs> you really truly believe it? Merk. Tell me then, Sylvia, on what exactly are you basing such confidence? Well, that's easy. I've worked hard over the last five weeks. I focus on my craft and on learning from the people around me. And among the things I've learned is this. I'm good at what I do. I believe in myself. And my friends believe in me too. Ha! Ha ha! Ha ha I don't see what's so funny. Do you listen to yourself? You're going to beat me. Me! With high self-esteem. And the power of friendship. <laughs> You don't seem to realize that we're operating in completely different leagues here. Yeah, you're a freaking witch, dude. Yeah, sure. That's what my last four competitors thought, too. All right, Sylvia. Fair enough. Maybe I ought to not underestimate you. But if you're right, if through some miracle things don't go my way in this competition, I have a trump card prepared. One you'll never see coming. What's that supposed to mean? It means tomorrow has only one possible outcome. So if you have as much writing on this contest as you claim, well, you might want to spend these next hours putting your fares in order. Yes. What a tool! Didn't I say from the start? He's just trying to psych us out, same as the others did. We should focus on what matters. Just think, if everything goes the way it should, you'll be human again this time tomorrow. And that's a debt I'll never be able to replay, repay. But don't do this for me, Sylvia. Do it for yourself. You've come so far in such a short time. So get out there and show this town what you can do. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. <laughs> okay, let's do this thing. The big day. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. Here they are, two giants of local industry, two masters of their craft. But only one can be crowned our winner. Only one can take home the grand prize. Let's meet our stars. Taking the first podium today is a man so regal he puts the king in potion making. He survived the worst this world could throw at him, and he came out to the other side with a smile on his face. And don't even get me started about those dimples. I'm talking, of course, about Robin. That's very kind, but if... We could move this along. Merp. At podium number two is a woman who knows a thing or two about adversity herself. She arrived on the shores with little more than the clothes on her back and a dream. In a matter of weeks, she's transformed her uncle's ram shack, shackle potion shop into a reasonably successful ram shackle potion shop. Incredible. Let's hear it. Three cheers for Sylvia. Hey, Robin. He sure peaked early. I respect you a lot, actually. Your lizard gives me the creeps. This doesn't have to get personal. Sorry, kid. They say you should never meet your idols. You're about to learn why. Mm -hmm. Tensions appear high. Don't make me come down there, kids. Wait, scratch that. It would be my honor to share the stage with two titanic tycoons. Ta-da! 
it's me, Baptiste. Holy crap. From this vantage, I'll be better able to facilitate this contest. Now, it's true that I consider both contestants among my dearest friends. And who better for their patronage and their precious coins that these contestants covet? This morning, I'm here simply to act as the voice of the people. Count on me to interpret the crowd's enthusiasm or lack thereof. In other words, audience, if you see something you like, make some noise. The outcome is foregone conclusion. I know it. The crowd knows it. Ew. And May. <gasps> I told you, it's Maven right there. Oh my gosh. May knows it most of all. To that, I can only say, let the battle begin. Let's do this thing. All right, Robin, are you ready to wow us all? This one, oh my God, that looks so beautiful. This one's an old family recipe. And the family in question is the ancient line of monarch mag magi, magi, whose mastery of forbidden arts ended the second dark age. Jesus, consider me wowed. Audience, am I right to be impressed? 3,800? With a sum like that, I'd say you have some fans here today. Let me tell you. <laughs> I don't think I am even close. Oh, I didn't move my phone. I think this is the one. Yep. Okay. Yeah. As a leader of the Heroes Guild, you'll recognize how precious this potion really is. That may be, in fact, true, however. And this is a masterwork quality, no less. But what does the audience say? Is it a hit? Oh, God. Fair assessment, as far as I can tell. But I'm sure you have more to say about it. Time to haggle. Should I review my strategy? I'm ready. I'm ready to prove my potion is better. I think. Captivate. We love that. Not that we need it. Oh, double my stress. What the hey, Barrel? I know what heroes need. I fought s beside them. 13 stress already. Oh, man. This is going to be rough. Decrease stress first. Okay, let's do this thing. How many indignities am I expected to suffer? Ugh, that's so much stress I'm gaining. Oh my gosh. My stress is about to shoot up. Oh my gosh. Oh, nice. Glad that I... Whew, that was lucky. You have the better potion, Sylvia. Ha! Who's the underdog now? <laughs> Celebrating already? Rookie mistake. It's time I showed you the error of your ways. No thanks are necessary for the lesson. I'm going to enjoy this. We'll have to see what happens next in round two. The anticipation is a lot to handle, Robin. Oh, Robin, care to show your next creation? Oh, another pretty one. I like the hat that matches his. Among the nobles of the continent, this is by far the most popular cure of curse curses, and it's good enough for them. And if it's good enough for them, you know, I think my mother keeps one of these in her cupboard. <laughs> Smart woman. She'll live a long life free of jinxes, hexes, and ingrown toenails. <laughs> if it's good enough for mother, it's got to be worth something. But I suppose our audience will be the judge of that. What do you? What do they say? 3600. I like that mic too. This game is oh, it's so pretty. Ah, that's no paltry sum. My heart goes out to you, Sylvia. You can't possibly measure up to that. Yes, I can. Uh... Yeah, it's this. 
has not it. This one. <laughs> oh my god, those gloves. Whoa! Forget the elitism. This is a curse cure for everybody. It's instantly identifiable, that's for sure. And the closer I look, the more impressive it appears. Let's check in with the audience. What would they pay for this curse cure? That's pretty close. Robin has the edge, however. Care to set it straight? Time to haggle. I'm ready. Blitz and blitz. Oh, already then. Oh, sheesh. Folks, we are witnessing history unforetold before our very eyes. Okay, what's Robin gonna do? It's gonna grand reveal Maven? We have a new champion and her name is Sylvia! I did it! I did it! I won! But, 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 no, I... <laughs> hey, don't feel bad, you did a great job. Shake on it? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's enough. <laughs> oh no, Maven's taken over. Robin? <laughs> so creepy. What is... What's happening right now? You think you're surprised? I prepared for this outcome. But I never really thought it would come to it. To this. Who are you? What did you do to Robin? Haven't you figured it out by now? Yes, I have. Robin is no more than a marionette, a pretty puppet that has allowed me to live among you unsuspected. I am the true power here, the rightful mistress of all I survey. I am Maven. Maven? Maven the Witch Queen? You're alive? My love. And you're a lizard? I didn't realize you were a lizard. What a twist. Hold on to your seats, everybody. Or else proceed swiftly to the nearest exit. Laugh it up, fools. This scaly semblance is only temporary. The world has long thought me dead, but I survived. And the time is nigh for my glorious return. I shall take back all that is rightfully mine, starting with the restoration of my true and proper form. I still don't understand. What happened to you? The band of idiotic heroes, the ones who came here to slay me, they botched the job. But the dolts managed to blow up my laboratory in the attempt. The resulting explosion irradiated the island, and I was changed into this. Lucky for me, Squire Boy was there. My powers are limited in the current undignified state, but they were more than sufficient to take control of him. No, anyone but Maven Monka. <laughs> oh my god. I seized his mind on that day, and I've rarely let go since. No one questioned the feel-good story of the boy who triumphed over the Wicked Witch Queen, nor did they bat an eye at his harmless little pet. Oh, no, I did. It's gross. Ben, you've been hiding in plain sight all along. And what a trial it has been, steering Robin around, making him smile and wave the and fraternize. I amassed power and wealth, but slowly, too slowly. And then Baptiste's goons managed to procure a sample of Maven Bloom, perhaps the last of its kind. Once I get my hands on it, once I have my cure, my long exile will at last be over, and I won't have to tolerate you half-wits anymore. You realize this half-wit just beat you pretty resoundingly? Yes, that's inconvenient, isn't it? Fortunately, I have a backup plan. My mental magics aren't what they used to be, but over the years, every ounce of power I could spare has gone into this crystal. I've saved enough energy to change the outcome of our little contest by forcing you to see things my way. You mean... Prepare for forfeit, for Prepare for forfeit, Sylvia. Oh, my baby! In another moment, it will be literally the only thing on your mind. Well, great, I'm totally screwed. Except, ever since coming to Rafta, I faced off against one blow hard after another and I've always come out on top. I don't have mind control magic or mystic gem, but all the same, these days, changing people's mind is what I do. So how do I convince Maven not to zap me? I've got it. I guess I can't win. I don't have a chance. Since you're a no-good cheater with bad breath, I know what you're trying to do. It won't work. I won't be dissuaded by your petty taunts, nor your pathetic appeals for fairness. No surprises there. I mean, you've been trying to cheat all along, haven't you? Sylvia shows no sign of backing down. Someone passed the popcorn. 
You tried to steal Maven Blue from the guild hall. You tried to bribe me into forfeiting. And when you realized you couldn't buy or steal your way into facing me today, you showed up with a magical trump card. It's obvious what that owl adds up to, Maven. You're afraid of me. Oh, snap! I think you've been afraid of me since the very first competition. Explains why you've been dropping in on me. That's absurd. Me? Afraid of you? <laughs> I dropped in on you out of sense of morbid curiosity. Honest, honestly, the sight of you in this, that sad little slant-wise shop, I couldn't fathom how you managed to make it as far as you did. Oh, I don't like this close-up. I thought you must have a, some secret, some trick. My only secret is hard work and a willingness to learn. I mean, sure, my shop wasn't much to look at to begin with. We call those humble origins. I'm proud of where I'm from and, I, and what I accomplished. You can steal this contest, but you can't take away that from me. Can I, though? But I suppose you have a point, Sylvia. Forcing you to forfeit now would be a hollow victory. I deserve more. I deserve to crush my foe. To leave no doubt in anyone's mind about my superiority. All right, then, have it your way. I shall leave your mind, such as it is, untouched. But the rest of the cattle assembled here today, they're about to forget all about your so-called victory. Let's try this one more time. We'll have to see what happens next in round two. <laughs> That's more like it. Huh? Round two? We already did round two. What? A you know what? Fine. If that's the way you want it, bring it on. Determined to rally, are you? But Rafta is still rooting for its harmless, handsome hometown hero. Alliteration, is it? Then <laughs> ready the set for round the second. Hated reading that. The anticipation is a lot to handle, Robin. Care to show us your next creation? My dear friend Baptiste, for your consideration, a masterpiece. Nobles love this one. I'm sure it will remind me fondly of your mother. Seriously? You know, it does remind me of my mother, and it's hard to put a price on such a thing. Fortunately, that's not for me to decide, audience. Good, let that be the end of this. <clears throat> and the family in question is the ancient line of monarch Magi. Magi? I still said that wrong. Um, whose mastery of forbidden arts into the second dark age. Okay. Yeah, I'm ready. Easy. We have a new champion, and her name is Sylvia. Raph just got a new queen of potion, and it's me. No! 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 Top of the monarch. <laughs> that was weird. What was supposed to happen? Oh, like if my stress was really high, maybe that would have been a bad time. How? How did this happen? Ha! I've it feels just as good as the second time around. You want me to beat you again? Because I could do this all day. <clears throat> this is intolerable, unthinkable. In my prime, I could have reduced you to a smear of smoldering ash with a wave of my second hand. I could have forced the crowd to tear you to pieces while chanting my name. But now it's all I can do to retain some control over the single vessel without him. Oh, without him? I can't even scratch my own nose. These stubby, scaly arms, they're worthless. And without that ingredient, this is how I will remain. Hey, listen, it's not all that bad. I can plant a cutting, grow a new flower. You can try again when it blooms, in ten years or so. Oh, to have fallen so far. My dreams of conquest shall go unrealized. And my potions will be known far and wide as second best. Mm hmm? <clears throat> is it over? Did we win? Shush now. We're going home. You can't get ice cream on the way. <laughs> okay, sorry. We've won today, Sylvia. But, oh, you've won today, Sylvia. But you had better watch your back. 
Did anybody catch all that? Because I'm pretty sure I just saved Rafta from the vengeful return of Power Mad Sorceress. No? Ah, oh, well, I saved my shop. I saved my uncle. I really did it. I won. Yow! <clears throat> Victory! I could get used to this feeling. I was It wasn't always easy, but we pulled it off in the end, didn't we? It's kind of you to say we, but it's obvious who the true victor is. You're amazing, Sylvia. And the best thing I did was know when to get out of your way. If you say so, but I'm glad I didn't have to do this alone. It's meant the world to me to have my Uncle Oswald by my side. I, I, yes. <laughs> Softy. Now, are you ready to slip into something less feathery? Because I've got, I've just finished brewing a potion and I think you're going to like it. Sylvia, I couldn't make it to the tournament, but I hear, heard the outcome. It appears you've accomplished all you set out to do. I owe you congratulations and you owe me the remaining balance. It's all here, every beautiful copper of it. <clears throat> Jeez. A most satisfying outcome. I don't know, spending it on ramen might have been a little more satisfying. Excellent. Now, as per our agreement. You have been released from your contract. This property is paid off in full and belongs entirely to you. That's it? I'm free now? Out of debt. <clears throat> As promised, I live by the letter of my contract, Sylvia. Which is why? My business is not yet concluded here. Oh yeah, she knows about you. Is it, Waswald? You, you know? The possibility never even occurred to me. Until an owl was spotted doing Sylvia's paperwork at the licensing bureau. An owl who couldn't help himself from boasting about Sylvia's progress with familiar pride in his familial pride in his voice. You very nearly got away with it. You did get away with it. It doesn't matter if you figured it out. We've pay already paid you back. Nevertheless, Oswald's de dereliction was an outrageous violation of terms. There are consequences to that. Rather severe consequences, as you'll remember from the fine print. Oh, oh dear. That's it, then, isn't it? This is the end. It is. I'll give you a moment to say goodbye. Now hold on! You can't just... Sylvia, my girl. Let it go. I won't allow you to put yourself in harm's way for me. Not again. I'm so proud of you, Sylvia. You've accomplished incredible things. Oh, I'm going to do something incredible, all right. Just watch me. Helen, let's make a deal. I'm listening. You're so sure of your abilities, but Oswald tricked you. He was hiding right under your nose. My abilities weren't at fault. The transmogrification distorted the shape and scent of his soul. And what's to stop someone from using the same trick? <clears throat> when word gets out about this, and it will, believe me, everyone who owes you so much as a phone call will be embracing their wild side. I sense a butt coming. Takes one to know one. Ha! <laughs> It so happens I've been finishing, fin I've just finished brewing the one and only antidote for transmogrification. When that potion is gone, it's gone forever. And it might be the only way you can ensure no one else slips through your grasp. That potion can be yours for a price. I think I know already what price you're asking, but I'm in the mood to haggle. Oh, oh, this is like the intro, but an outro. Give her a convincing argument. Instead of like floundering like last time, show your expertise. Close like a boss. <clears throat> the ingredient needed to brew this potion is gone, maybe forever. You'll never have an opportunity like this again. It's going once, going twice. Very well, Sylvia. You have yourself a deal. What a difference a few weeks makes. Your skill is undeniable. I almost think you went easy on me. Absolutely not. I like you, Sylvia, but I don't let sentimental creep... Oh, sentiment creep into my business decisions. Executing Oswald's contract to the letter is good for business. However, leveraging his fate to get my hands on his this potion is better for business. It's as simple as that. Brutal, but I get it. It's a brutal world, but you're well on your way, and if I find, might humbly suggest it, someday in the future, 
You may find yourself in need of an influx of capital. On that day, call on me. I'll keep a contract handy, just in case. She's gone. She really left. Sylvia, you... You saved me. I owe you twice over now. I'm beginning to think you like being indebted. But you must be disappointed that she took the cure with her. I'll learn to live with it. It's almost certainly a better fate than what Helen had in store. Then you don't want the cure? Because I got a spare. <laughs> and anyway, it could be worse. I'll take the feathers over scales and... You... What did you say? I made two potions. I thought I could get a nice chunk of change if I sold one to Maven, but so much for that idea. But I've got the second potion here. Bottle up just for you. It's pretty small, but it should be the perfect dosage given your size. And I can I can guarantee it doesn't taste like old cabbage. But I but you I I don't deserve you, Sylvia. I really don't. Ah, oh, come on, you didn't think I'd leave you hanging, did you? Who cares what I thought? Dear niece, you've made a habit of surpassing my expectations, every one of them. I couldn't have done any of this without you. We make a good team, and we're sticking together from now on, right? Let's shake on it, just as soon as I have hands again. Does that mean you're ready to get untransmogrified? Ready as I'll ever be. Bottoms up! Yow! <clears throat> Oh, whoa, whoa! What's going on? There's some interesting side effects. This could take a while. Those are. That's hilarious. Wrecked. <laughs> Dear Mom and Dad, everything's going great here in Rafta. Oh, is that her uncle? I was like, what the? Who the hell's that? Funny story, Oswald isn't dead, <laughs> although I did almost kill him with the, one of my potions. Not on purpose. In all the confusion, I ended up inheriting his shop anyway. He doesn't seem bitter about it, though. We're going to be partners. I can't wait for you to see what we accomplish. All my love, Sylvia. Oh my god, I'm not crying. That was a cute game. Ah! Uncle is jacked. True. I expected a person named Oswald to be some old frail person but that dude is chiseled <laughs> right dude that was wild <clears throat> wow what a good game i really enjoyed that also i feel like i haven't finished a game all the way through in a long time so that was really nice thanks for being part of the journey with me you guys it's only been like a month <laughs> but it's so nice even this outro is adorable. Da, da, da. Oh my god, all the flies. <laughs> adorable. Clap. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys so much. And have a wonderful night. I don't know what we'll be playing. Um, not tomorrow, because that's Wednesday and I don't stream Wednesdays. But Thursday, I think, I'm think i thinking maybe some Kinseed. I'm not sure. I'll check it out. Thanks again and farewell!